Now, if you're a follower of this channel, you may recognize me and are already familiar with our approach. We're a faceless channel. And in addition to apps and automation, we're here to explore the incredible tools that enable us to create captivating content. We've seen a surge of new videos popping up using text-to-speech, giving opportunity to those who don't necessarily want to show their face. In my case, it's a bit of that, but also the fact that text-to-speech tools speak so well, like professionals, which is not something we all have. Now, because my persona will cover the Microsoft Power Platform stuff, I can easily change my, my voice and morph myself into Julie, which we can do with the exciting world of AI-based tools. In this video, we'll be exploring one of our absolute favorites, Eleven Labs, a game-changing text-to-speech service. Eleven Labs is not just your run-of-the-mill text-to-speech generator. It's a revolutionary AI tool. It empowers you to transform text into lifelike speech and even offers the remarkable ability to dub into 29 different languages and manipulate voice recordings. This means you can craft a truly authentic AI voice, opening up a world of creative possibilities. Moreover, Eleven Labs also allows you to work with long-form voice generation projects, such as audiobooks, long-form video, and web content. Speaking from experience, I can confidently say that Eleven Labs stands out as one of the most realistic AI voice generators available. We'll explore how Eleven Labs can be used with avatars, delve into using it for audiobooks, and even touch on some advanced uses, like using the API with a Python script. We'll discuss potential business ideas that could benefit from text-to-speech technology and share our thoughts on the future of these incredible tools. Furthermore, we'll also share a hilarious mishap with a speech-to-speech -speech example that rendered the speech incomprehensible. However, it ended up being quite amusing and demonstrated some creative ways to use it. We'll also showcase other ways we have utilized text-to-speech voices that could potentially be employed for faceless social media channels. So, if you're ready to unlock the potential of Eleven Labs and the world of text-to-speech, let's dive right in. As we enter the dashboard, you're greeted with a clean and intuitive interface that has been recently updated to ensure a seamless user experience. The main dashboard is where you'll spend most of your time, and it's designed to be user-friendly, even for beginners. The main menu, which used to be at the top of the screen, can now be found on the left. Let's explore the top four menu options first. Firstly, we have the speech category. Here you can generate realistic and captivating speech in a wide range of languages, perfect for creating lifelike voices for various purposes. In the history section, you'll find a complete list of all your generated samples ready for download. It's your library of previously created content, making it easy to manage and access your work. Under Projects, you will find the Advanced Speech Synthesis Editor, ideal for long-form content and full document conversions. This feature opens up exciting possibilities for creating audio content for audiobooks, long-form videos, and web content. Next is the Voices category, where you have the tools to shape and explore a library of synthetic voices. Under Create, you will find Voice Lab, where you have the ability to design entirely new synthetic voices from scratch, clone your own voice, or use a voice for which you have permission and rights. You can also choose from the library. You can access the same library via the Explore tab. The next feature is called Dubbing, which allows you to take your content to a global audience with voice translation, speaker detection, and audio dubbing, you can easily translate your videos into 29 other languages. Finally, the subscription tab is where you can check for pricing and plans. I'll go ahead and click on create under speech so that we can convert some text to speech and see how this performs. Under task, we have two options, text to speech and speech to speech. We'll select text to speech. We will write in some text and click Generate to listen back to our finished clip. Your spoken script will be generated and will play it back to you. If you want to download your clip, you can click on this download icon in the player that appears. 
I'll click to download. And there, we have our first text-to-speech clip spoken by Confident Dylan. He's got a really nice voice, I have to say. Speaking of nice voices, let's have a look at what's available. At the top, we can see our recently used voices. Underneath that, we have a section for the voices that we have cloned ourselves. Below that, we have the generated voices. These are made with a voice design tool and allow custom creation with gender, age, and accent choices, akin to pre-made quality, but may require multiple attempts to find the right fit. And finally, we have the pre-made voices. These offer high quality, free to use options, suitable for most needs, and can also be shared in the voice library, where you can earn back characters from your used quota when users use your shared voice. Next, let's have a look at the voice settings, and for that, I'll pick my own voice. We'll click the voice settings drop down menu. I'll paste some new text in first. The stability setting up at the top that you have been listening to for most of the video has been set to 30%, currently at 0%. I'll change it back to 30%. Increasing variability can make speech more expressive with output varying between regenerations. So if you are looking for a specific emotional tone, it's a case of trial and error. Let's now bring it down to zero. Note that bringing it down too low can lead to instabilities. You can get some funny speaking manners out of this one. Personally, I love playing with this. If we set it to 100%, the speech becomes more stable, but maybe a bit monotone. For tutorials like this, I think the default works just fine. Let's now look at clarity and similarly enhancement. Low values are recommended if background artifacts are present in generated speech. The recording I cloned this voice from is actually quite high, so having done some testing prior to this, there was little difference between the extreme settings. I'm going to change the voice for this, where I had some recordings of lesser quality. But I find the settings are subtle. Perhaps some really badly recordings are necessary to notice a clear difference. So currently it's at default, now I'll move it up to 100%. Although this does sound like me, the accent is a little off. I have an Irish accent and there's a little twang coming through, in between British and American I think. It seems as if my accent changes a little as I move it up. Let's now move it to 0%. And for the sake of talking, let me tell you something about me. People say that I have schizophrenia, but I'm good people. I'm also a bit of a kleptomaniac, as I take things literally. I've been doing this YouTube thing because I'm out of work. I used to work at a calendar factory, but I got fired. All I did was take a day off. Although it's subtle and you may need headphones or good speakers, the 0% is definitely clearer and has less noise and artifact. Finally, let's have a listen to the style exaggeration setting. Again, I found that with my own recorded voice, the changes were more noticeable and it seems that some of my accent comes through depending on the settings. They say that high values are recommended if the style of speech should be exaggerated compared to the uploaded audio. Higher values can lead to more instability in the generated speech, and that setting this to zero will greatly increase generation speed. This is the default setting. I'm going to switch back to the video's main voice. The last option in the settings section are the different voice models we can choose from, there are four models that we can choose from. The multilingual version 2 model is known for its stability, diverse language support, and excellent voice cloning accuracy across 29 languages. The experimental multilingual V1 is not recommended for extended use due to bugs and limitations, as multilingual V2 surpasses it in various aspects. English V1, the oldest model, is specialized for English and is fast but less versatile. Turbo V2 is optimized for low latency applications, offering good accuracy for instant voice clones. The voice you are listening to now is the multilingual version 2 model. Let's now have a look at the other tabs. Under the History tab, you can look through your previous generations. You can download selected files or remove them. You can also play back the clips and see, see which settings were used for the generations. Next, we'll explore projects where you can effortlessly generate, 
edit, and customize spoken audio within a streamlined workflow. Let's click on Create New Project. We have three options, and I'll select Start from an Empty Project. First, give the project a name, then choose your voice and model, followed by selecting the desired output quality. Please note that each quality level is associated with different costs. Higher quality incurs more character cost. For this demo, we'll choose Standard. Under Download Settings, you have the option to normalize the volume to meet audiobook standards. Audio normalization for audiobooks adjusts audio levels to ensure consistent and balanced volume throughout the recording, creating a comfortable listening experience by leveling out loud and soft sections. I'll leave this option off. You can also choose to add metadata, which provides descriptive information about the data, making it easier to understand and manage. We'll skip this step. Lastly, there's the option for pronunciation dictionaries, which provide correct word pronunciations with phonetic transcriptions or symbols. They assist individuals in accurate pronunciation. We'll skip this as well. Here's where we compose our content and organize our project into chapters for focused editing. It functions similarly to a word processor, allowing you to create titles, H1, subtitles, H2, H3, etc., and paragraphs. To rename a chapter, simply click on the cog icon here. Let's rename our first chapter to Introduction. If you wish to add a new chapter, click the plus button here and provide it with a name. You can preview highlighted sections by clicking the play button at the top. When attempting to download your clip, you'll receive a message indicating that the chapter needs to be converted first. Just click on Convert to initiate the conversion process, after which you'll be able to download your converted content. You can also access the download options located at the top right corner. There are three choices, project download, chapter download, and chapter versions. In the settings, we have the option to modify the project name and default voice. Please keep in mind that the model and quality settings are fixed at the beginning of the project creation. Great. Now that we've looked at projects, we'll now revisit the voices menu that we briefly looked at earlier. To access the four voice creation options, we click on the Create tab and then the plus button labeled Add Generative or Cloned Voice. This brings up our voice creation menu. Let's first look at voice design. At the top, we can pick between a female and male voice. We can choose our age as young, middle-aged, or old. We have five accents. American, British, African, Australian, and Indian. We also have a choice to choose the accent strength. Let's generate our first voice and see what that sounds like. Stay away from those people who try to disparage your ambitions. Small minds will always do that, but great minds will give you a feeling that you can become great too. Mark Twain. Let's now try out a male voice. I'll pick old, from the age dropdown with a British accent. I'll also set the accent to high. Click Generate. We cannot solve problems with the kind of thinking we employed when we came up with them. Albert Einstein. Let's reduce the accent to low and see what that sounds like. We cannot solve problems with the kind of thinking we employed when we came up with them. <laughs> Albert that Einstein. That sounded a bit like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Note that when I press Generate again, it will generate a new voice. So you can experiment with this until you find your desired one. We cannot solve problems with the kind of thinking we employed when we came up with them. Albert Einstein. And just one last one for good measures. And this time, we'll put the accent at 158%. We cannot solve problems with the kind of thinking we employed when we came up with them. Albert Einstein. Although this voice was a little bit loud and sounds a bit distorted, I'll click on Use to demo how to save it to your library. We simply give our new voice a name at the top. Underneath that, you can add some labels. 
For this, you give it a property and a value, for example, age is old. In my case, I'll choose motivational and good. You can give it a description, but let's say we don't right now, then we can always edit the voice details later. I'll click Create Voice. Let's now look at the instant voice cloning. For this, you will need a clean sample recording. Samples should contain one speaker and be over one minute long. It shouldn't have any background noise. If you find that your recording has a lot of noise, you can always use something like the Adobe Speech Enhancement tool, which I always use to clean up my speech recordings. I'll leave a link in the description for that. For our cloned voice, again, give it a name. You can record directly to 11 labs or drag and drop up to 25 sample files. After conducting extensive testing, I have found that having more samples or longer samples doesn't necessarily result in improvement. It largely depends on the speaking style and whether the model is trained to emulate it. For instance, the samples I'm using here consist of clips of my five-year-old daughter speaking, and she can't pronounce things correctly. It's very childlike. However, when we train the model with these samples, the generated speech retains the same tonal aspects, but with correct pronunciation of words. Let's try out our new voice. But before that, let's now give it a short description. We click on Edit, and we can then provide a voice description in the description box. Click here to confirm that you comply with their terms and conditions, and then click Edit Voice. We're now ready to use our voice. Let's see what it sounds like. When you give joy to other people, you get more joy in return. You should give a good thought to happiness that you can give out. Eleanor Roosevelt Very cute, but her real voice, in the speaking manner, is so much cuter. It would melt your heart. I suppose you'd like to hear a bit of the real voice, right? Let's have a quick listen so we can compare. I got breakfast and I eat very slowly and, and I went to school a bit late. Um, no, I went to school a bit slow. You did great, darling. I better get back and, to it. And I, and then, well, I went to Roisin's really quick. Ah, that's nice. And then I went to school. But when they went to school and and Sorry babe, I really need to get back to it. I miss people are watching this I on miss. YouTube, they're here to learn about Eleven Labs. Isn't she so cute? Okay, sorry guys, where were we? Oh yeah. Let's listen to some of the voices in the library. And one of the ways to access is via the Create tab and we choose Voice Library. We can see here I've already added some voices to my voice library which allow you to select it from the drop-down menu on the speech synthesis. To add a voice to your library, click this option. If you want to preview the voice, click on Sample. Let us always meet each other with smile, for the smile is the beginning of love. I'm not interested in age. People who tell me their age are silly. You're as old as you feel. Here at the top, we can select categories that the voices are tagged with. Note you can also combine the categories. In the top right, we can also sort our voices by trending, latest, most users, and most characters generated. Next up to that, we have some advanced methods to filter our voices, where you can choose the category type being professional or voice design, following by gender, age, and accent. Our last option under voice creation types is the professional cloning. I've tested this out with my Irish accent, but I didn't provide the recommended amount of audio, preferably closer to three hours, so my Irish accent didn't really come out properly. I have yet to try this out with the required amount of recordings. Before we move on to dubbing, just a quick note that you can also access the same voice library we just looked at via the Explore tab under Voices. Now, let's explore Eleven Lab's powerful dubbing feature. As mentioned, the dubbing technology allows you to translate your content into 29 different languages. This can really help open up new possibilities for content creators reaching global audiences. I'll give the project a name. To test it out, I'm going to grab a clip from the internet archive of a video from 2020 during COVID time, spoken in German by former Chancellor Angela Merkel. Let's play the clip. Heute. 
haben wir 20.815 Fälle, 3.500 mehr als vor einer Woche, 4.257 belegte Intensivbetten gegenüber gestern, zwei von heute ist noch nicht da, und 590 Tote. Ah, those were the days. To dub this video, we can select both the source and target language. I will pick English from the target drop-down list, and although I know it's German, let's see if Eleven Labs can detect it. With our settings selected, we can now go ahead and click on Create. For those who want more control, there are advanced settings to fine-tune your dubbing project. Let's now view our creation. Today we have 20,115 pallets. Huh? 3,500 more than a week ago. 4,257 occupied intensive care beds compared to yesterday. Today's number is not yet available. I'll pause it there for a second. You may need to play this over again a few times, but it didn't get it perfect. But isn't it unbelievable? She even has a German accent. Now, listen to the last bit. My mind is blown. Then we would have missed something. We should not do that. You, um... Did you hear that? It even had the applause at the end. Let's listen to the end of the original to hear that applause. That's incredible. Now, before we look at some of the more advanced stuff for developers, let's just quickly wrap up on the other menu items. You have subscription, where you find the details about your plan and pricing contact information, and as you can see, there are several departments you can contact, documentation, and tools, where you have the AI speech classifier. This is where you can upload audio clips to see if it was created using Eleven Labs. Now that we've looked at all the menu options, next, we'll briefly discuss Eleven Labs API, which stands for Application Programming Interface. An API is a set of rules and protocols that allow different software applications to communicate and interact with each other. It defines the methods and data formats that applications can use to request and exchange information. APIs enable developers to access the functionality of a software system or service without needing to understand its internal workings. This topic is a bit advanced for this video and would require a separate video on its own. However, we will provide you with an example of what can be achieved with a Python script using this API in conjunction with ChatGPT's API. So, in the next segment, we'll explore a Python script that interacts with Eleven Labs. While we won't delve into all the intricacies, we'll provide you with a high-level overview of its functionality. If you're interested in a more in-depth tutorial, Consider enrolling in Daniel Davis' Skillshare course, where he guides you through the process step by step. This Python script automates the process of summarizing news articles and converting them into a podcast-like format. The script itself can be broken down in 10 steps. Step 1. Import necessary libraries. To start, we import the required Python libraries and modules for your script to work effectively. Step 2. Load environment variables. Following that, we use the .env library to load environment variables from a .env file. These environment variables contain sensitive information like API keys. Step 3. Set API keys. With the environment variables loaded in Step 2, we proceed to set the API keys for the OpenAI and Eleven Lab services. Step four, define the RSS feed URL. In this step, we specify the URL of the RSS feed you want to process, which has been blurred for legal and copyright reasons. Step five, process RSS feed. Moving on, we parse the RSS feed using the feed parser library. We retrieve the latest news stories from the feed and we limit the number of stories retrieved to a specified number. Step six, prepare chat input. To prepare for the next phase, we create a variable named stories to store the news headlines and summaries. Then we loop through the retrieved news stories and we concatenate their titles and descriptions into the stories variable. Step seven, 
process with OpenAI's ChatGPT. In this crucial step, we use the OpenAI API to interact with the ChatGPT model. We create a chat conversation with a user, message requesting to rewrite the news headlines and summaries in a discussion format suitable for a podcast. We pass the collected stories as the content of the user's message. The ChatGPT model will generate a response in a conversational style. Step eight, process audio with 11 labs. Following that, we specify a voice ID for the desired audio output. We make an HTTP post request to 11 Labs Text-to-Speech API to convert the generated chat content into audio. We provide the chat content and voice settings in the request payload, including the required headers and authentication information, such as the 11 Labs API key. If the request is successful, we save the generated audio as an MP3 file. Step nine, handling errors. We also plan for the possibility of errors. If there is an issue with the audio generation, HTTP status code is not 200, we print an error message or response. Step 10, processing complete. Finally, we wrap up the entire process by printing a message indicating that the entire processing has finished, ensuring that all steps adhere to legal and copyright regulations. Let's now listen to the exported voice clip, our first automated podcast. Hey there, and welcome to today's episode of our one-off podcast. We've got quite a range of news stories to cover, so let's jump right in. First up, we have the Nottingham attacks where a court has accepted the guilty plea of Valdo Calacane. It's been reported that his pleas were accepted due to his serious mental illness. Moving on, we have the Israel-Gaza war. The IDF has sadly announced that 24 soldiers were killed in Gaza on Monday alone. This marks the deadliest day for Israel since their ground operation began. You get the picture. So this wouldn't be a bad business idea. Speaking of which, we're now going to introduce 20 innovative ways to harness the power of a text-to-speech service like Eleven Labs to fuel new products and business models. One, audiobook creation service. You could offer a service where you convert written books into engaging audiobooks using diverse AI voices. Two, educational content for kids. You could create interactive educational content for children, such as storytelling or language learning apps with voice capabilities. Three, accessibility tools. You could develop applications that read out text, enhancing accessibility for visually impaired users and improving web and document accessibility. Four, voice-enabled chatbots. You could enhance customer service with AI chatbots that respond with natural voices for businesses. Five, language learning platform. You could create a platform where users can immerse themselves in different languages and dialects through listening and practice. Six, podcast automation service. You could transform blog posts and articles into captivating podcast episodes using natural sounding AI voices. Seven, e-learning course production. You could offer high quality voice narration services to produce engaging e-learning courses. Eight, interactive voice response systems. You could develop advanced IVR systems with more human-like voices for businesses. Nine, animated video production. You could bring characters to life in animated videos using AI voices for narration. 10. Voiceovers for indie game developers. You could provide affordable voice acting solutions for independent game developers, adding depth to their creations. 11. Virtual tour guides. You could create captivating voice narrated virtual tours for museums, historical sites, or real estate properties. 12 personalized voice messages. You could craft personalized voice messages or greetings in various voices and languages. 13, customized meditation and sleep aid apps. You could develop soothing AI voiced apps for guided meditations or bedtime stories. 14, audio news service. You could convert written news articles into audio format, catering to those who prefer listening over reading. 15. Voice cloning for personal assistants. You could customize voice skins for virtual assistants in smart homes or devices. 16. 
automated video captioning and dubbing. You could offer automated dubbing and captioning services for videos in multiple languages. 17. Voice-enabled mobile apps. You could integrate AI voices into mobile apps for functions like reminders, fitness coaching, or cooking guides. 18. Voice-driven social media content. You could create unique social media content, including voice-narrated stories or posts. 19. Interactive audiobooks for children. You could develop engaging audiobooks where children can choose different story paths. 20. Custom voice alerts for apps and devices. You could offer customized voice alerts for various applications and smart devices. As we conclude this list of 20 creative business ideas, remember that the possibilities with text-to-speech services like Eleven Labs are limitless. With the Eleven Labs grant for startups, you can bring your innovative ideas to life with three months of free usage, over 200 hours of generated audio, and 11 million characters. So as you explore the world of AI-driven voices, know that Eleven Labs is here to support your journey. Get ready to transform your ideas into reality, one voice at a time. In the final segment of this video, we'll demonstrate several real-world applications where Eleven Labs seamlessly integrates with other tools, including AI avatars and AI-generated video. As highlighted in the introduction, we encourage you to explore your creativity not only in seamless operations, but also in experimenting with speech-to-speech -speech examples, including how to creatively utilize mishaps or artifacts for experimental purposes. We'll begin by giving you a demo of an example where the conversion went wrong for us. So with speech-to-speech -speech selected, I'll drop in an audio file. This audio file is me speaking. I tried to add emotion, and I also speak less clear to see what would happen. Thinking about you tonight, your essence, everything about you. You're such a beauty. Ooh, yo. I'd like to just start to tell you that I'm really quick you. Because... I don't want to be too giving. I know you will. So I know what to tell you. It's nice and... and it's short to be after I've given nerve to you or something. So I was probably not receiving as well. So. Oh, and Q2, we, we listened to this audio pitch today. Interesting, hey, so the tools used here were Eleven Labs, Ableton to mix the music and voice, and for video I used Kyber and Runway ML. The song begins with audio from a stock library called Epidemic Sound, which then mixes into a track called Boxwood by Robot Love. Links for the tools, the music, and the rest of this video can be found in the description. I'd like to give an honorable mention to the AI avatar tool named PPO. It might not be as widely recognized as some others, but in my opinion, it's one of the best. In fact, I was created using PPO. Concluding our presentation, we'd like to share some demo videos showcasing various other use cases we've been actively engaged in. At the heart of all these applications lies Eleven Labs. Thank you for participating in the Food Safety and Hygiene Training Program. This training is crucial for anyone working in the food industry, as it is a legal requirement to ensure the safe handling and preparation of food. Throughout this programme, we will cover various topics to enhance your understanding of food safety and hygiene. Mindfulness, it's not just a buzzword, it's a way of life. Now, you might be wondering, how can I experience this transformative tool? Well, let's take a moment together. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in, hold for a moment, then release for stress, anxiety, depression, and emotional disorders. The physiological effects of slow breathing have been extensively studied. Slow breathing practices significantly affect the respiratory, cardiovascular, 
cardiorespiratory and autonomic nervous systems. And a heart that's whole. You paint my world in gold and light up every day with a joy that's untold and never fades away. You're the sun on a summer's day, the wind in my hair, the laughter that makes me sway, and the memories we share. You're the melody in my song, the rhythm in my feet, the love that keeps me strong, and the dreams that we meet. Happiness, my dear friend, you fill my heart with grace, and until the very end, you'll always have a place. Ethical frameworks, a beacon of hope, guiding our actions, helping us cope. They remind us to prioritize human needs, to foster fairness transparency and good deeds. Believe in yourself, unleash your might. Embrace the power within, shine with light. With every step you take, dreams come alive. You're destined for greatness, let your spirit thrive. In the realm of AI where the progress unfolds, we hold the key to the stories yet untold. By adhering to ethics, we pave the way for a future where technology brings a brighter day. So let's stand tall, champions of the cause, promoting well-being, removing unjust laws. Accountability drives our journey ahead. With ethical AI, we can overcome what's said. Believe in yourself, unleash your might, embrace the power within, shine with light. With every step you take, dreams come alive. You're destined for greatness. Let your spirit thrive. You have the strength, the passion, the fire to make a difference and reach higher. Embrace the ethical path. Let your values soar. Motivate others and forever explore. So go forth, my friend, with purpose and grace. Make the world a better, more ethical place. With your determination and unwavering drive, the future is bright and together we thrive. Well, folks, we hope you've enjoyed this presentation. As always, to show your support for our channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. You can find links to all the resources mentioned in the description below. Thank you.